Time now for the morning rush. State police are looking for a car that they say was involved in the shooting outside the governor's mansion. This happened last Wednesday. Deputies say a gray four door Nissan sedan was seen speeding away from the area after allegedly shooting at another car. The governor's office and the state police they tell the journal that the governor was not home at the time. This morning, police are asking any witnesses of a deadly hit and run in southwest Albuquerque to come forward. A pedestrian was hit near Coors and Sage around 9 last night. No details about the victim released yet. We'll keep you up to date on air and online. Erica. And our next big weather maker doesn't move in until early next week. That low will be moving off of the Pacific and moving over the southwest, including New Mexico, by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, bringing some rain mix and some snow. This morning, we're waiting to learn the start date for the impeachment trial in the Senate of President Donald Trump. The House voting in almost entirely along party lines on two articles of impeachment, abuse of power, and obstruction of Congress. 30 Republicans did not vote. Neither did seven Democrats. Trump is now the third president to be impeached. Former dean of students from Western New Mexico University, Jim Smith, is apologizing this morning for a comment that he made at a commencement speech. During a keynote speech last week, Smith, Smith was telling a story about disciplining boys who were found with girls in their dorm rooms. Smith says, quote, it wasn't a joke, it was a fact, but later apologized for offending anyone. Some big changes coming to a busy Albuquerque intersection known for speeders and dangerous crashes. The city's already added new lights and extended sidewalks along 86th Street near Sapphire. Crews will soon add a metal guardrail, new curbs, and narrow the lanes. The cost, about $106,000. Take a look at this video right here of a recent ART crash involving a scooter. It's serving as a warning to watch for buses on the road. Now, this video is coming from the camera on the bus. It's approaching the intersection of Central and 52nd when the scooter makes a left turn and turns right into the bus. You're going to see it right there. We also have learned of two more crashes involving ART, bringing the total to now 10. The White House proposing a new set of rules for asylum seekers. A new rule would disqualify foreigners who have been convicted of possession of drugs, DUI, or any felon. It also includes convictions of using false documents and crossing the border illegally more than once. The proposed rule is open for public comment. Erica. And our metro threat index is staying low for today. We have cold temperatures out there this morning, and by later on, we'll make it into the 40s. But other than that, clouds start to clear and winds stay light. Nonprofits around New Mexico are sharing in more than $650,000 in grants. The journal reports that the grants were awarded by Santa Fe based Con Alma Health Foundation. Officials say the grants will support programs like suicide prevention, supportive housing, child welfare, health care access, and much more. Your next flight could soon get a whole lot louder. The tech industry is moving toward technology to support mid air cell phone calls. Right now, Wi Fi on the plane supports bandwidth to make a call, but that's forbidden. Experts say airline officials won't consider in flight cell phone calls until they feel there's an overwhelming demand. One of Albuquerque's newest small business owners is providing a special take on a holiday gift giving. Harvest Moon, which is part of the new Little Bear Retail Collective in Knob Hill, opened last month on Small Business Saturday. Their collection of new and used books focuses on unique writers. The Albuquerque Balloon Museum is now looking for the perfect person to help them translate a letter written in German. Now, the museum has possession of a letter from Ferdinand Graf von Zeppelin. He is the creator of the flying airship. Now, the museum's curator is hoping that someone can help them translate the artifact. He says the letter came to the museum from a collection of historic materials. A local brewery and distillery are coming together to introduce a new creation. Albuquerque's Marble Brewery and Safe House Distilling Company turned double white beer into whiskey. It takes about two weeks to brew the 111 proof double lightning whiskey batch that will soon be offered in local restaurants and casinos. An Albuquerque teen continues achieving her goals despite what some might consider obstacles. 18 year old Mackenzie Seidel and her younger brother Michael have both lost their parents. Seidel says that she has always happily taken care of her brother and will continue, continue to do so even after college. There's now a GoFundMe set up for the two. We have a link on our website at krqe.com. And here's a look at the morning drive. The roads are all looking clear out there, no accidents, and the maps are green. All right, look at the sweet moment when an Albuquerque toddler comes face to face with Santa. This is one year old Jackson Ferguson inside our newsroom, walking right up to Santa, leaning in, putting his head right on St. Nick's shoulder, wrapping his arms around him. With a great big heart, little Dax is likely to get something good this Christmas. Look at that smile. Yeah, Dax is the, the essential, quintessential little toddler right there, and the embodiment of the holiday spirit. Absolutely. Such a cool little guy.